today on Comic Artist Spotlight, J. Scott Campbell. This is the series where I ink a piece of the artist's work as we take a look at one of their comic books. So let's take a look. Today we're going to look at Wild Ciders. Of course, drawn by J. Scott Campbell. Uh, this is the cover here. Only two comics were ever actually made for this series. It was supposed to be five, but only two came out, which is disappointing. But this was a very neat series where they were doing holographic representations here. So I guess he would have to draw what's underneath plus draw the holograms. It's just a lot of neat stuff going on. So let's dive in. So first page, it just goes over the characters here from the first issue. And there's a quick little recap here of the first issue, which is pretty neat. He used to do this in the Danger Girl comics also. So here we have this guy. He's scanning different animals, different bugs, and then he can replicate them with this holographic technology. And it shows him, you know, wearing this piece here and then knocking over a, a jar. And, and here as he's talking to somebody. But the art in this book is just incredible. There's stuff everywhere. He crams so much stuff into every panel, every little section, every piece of the wall has something going on besides drawing the holograms on top of everything else. I'm not quite sure how he did that because you can clearly see through them and it really works. So it's just a pretty neat concept. So here he's, here's a good shot of the, you know, Actually, they're all a bunch of good shots here. So it shows that he has this little holographic uh, pixie flying around or something. She got, she's got a battery to keep her running. Um, you know, pretty good shot here. Just a big shot of the guy's face. And here he's talking to her. And then when someone arrives, you know, he makes her disappear. So, these are the friends from school. This is Jess. She she has this, you know, pretty good shot of the bird here. Looks like a bald eagle. And, uh, you know, she says they're going down to the wild, wildlife sanctuary. Which we, we quickly jump to. So, you know, great stuff here. He's got, you know, really stylized cheetah there. Looking cool. Even has a little bike down there. Monkeys up here. Gorilla here. Just neat stuff. There's a panther there. So he's got all these wires. Just the detail in these books are incredible in Wild Siders. I really wish he, he did some more. But so... Here he, he, he's given his uh, friends with him different holographic powers. So he gives her these these cat claws and feet, and I guess she gets a tail too. So it allows her to leap, you know, cling to walls and stuff, this and that. You know, just, just lots of detail in these art. I mean, he, he drew this girl five times in this panel. It's pretty amazing. Not to mention the the hologram where you can look and see her shoes in there and everything. Or the hands in here. It's just 
You can even see the fingers with the mechanical things on the on the fingers here. Just like down here at the bottom. Pretty awesome. Uh, then it shows him scanning this, this eagle because she said she liked to fly. So he gives her this little pack and then she's flying automatically which she she really doesn't know how to control yet so so she like i guess he turns it off and she falls down so that's how she got her power and they're talking chatting a little bit you know a lot of talking going on just lots of panels Uh, this guy says he wants to be a gorilla. So I guess they suit up in their football suits. I think that's where he's going to hide the technology. And then, you know, using the hologram technology, which I guess it, it manifests in real life, how he can stand up and everything. So now he's, he's like a gorilla. Uh, this guy, he gets uh, T-Rex <laughs> extensions. He says, oh, sorry, Velociraptor, it says. So, so it allows him to use his tail. Uh, he obviously can probably jump pretty far and even <laughs> probably bite stuff with the holographic head. So, and then here we have another panel. So much going on. All kind of people here. Lots of detail in the football players, even though they're really, really tiny characters. But just great looking. This is great here, charging through. Has an inset of his face. And then here it shows him like tackling the people. I guess he made the holograms so you can't, nobody else can see him. So everyone's wondering how this guy can jump around and no one can catch him. And she's she's able to balance on top here and her holographic claws are like clawing their suits up they don't know what's going on you know neat neat concepts but just all kind of detail people in the back here people everywhere here shows the guy back here you know all little characters here so much going on in these pages so here we have just, just some teen drama going on a little bit. This other coach has no idea how they lost. So then we're going to Cybertronics International building here. And uh, now this lady, she was in the beginning. She's, I believe she's working with the hologram technology, which she I, yeah, she's in a wheelchair, and the technology helps her walk to use her legs. So, um, so here's the, the kids sitting, just relaxing. Just great detail everywhere. Good angle. And then here's another panel. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different panels going on this one page it shows them on the skateboard so basically they crash uh, they switch disc she this uh, girl here asked him to put in a good word with with his buddy uh, Zach so but here here's a, here again four panels five six seven eight nine panels on one page. Now, some of this stuff is kind of blacked out just for mystery's sake, but you know, cool, cool smoke here. Um, so here, here's a. Now this lady's here shows her using the the holographic leg so she can walk. Uh, and they're just discussing how. You know, 
maybe they should pull the plug on their technology because it could be dangerous. And then here comes this spider attacking them. So this guy knocks her out of the way. He he gets hit out, and then he sprouts his his uh, wing pack he has here, and lets the robot fall down. So he comes back. Um, they have the disc, and then they basically burn the disc and say it's over. But here to find out, the girl when she bumped into him uh, switched discs, so she's looking to play it here, and this little CD player sprouts legs, you know, so I mean, just the detail on this is crazy. Here we got all these little posters. This is obviously, you know, someone, it's, but it says Charles Monroe. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Um, here they have lyrics coming across here. Just so much detail. Lyrics here. Um, I like this shot of her putting it in the player. So, so then she calls for her dad, and apparently it's this guy. He's he's the guy that develops those spider bots or whatever. So all these holograms are happening. She don't know what's going on here. And then he says things are never going to be the same. So the technology has fallen into the wrong hands, basically. And then there it is. It says to be continued. But it never was. So here we got... This is an alternate number two cover of Cat believe her name is so so anyways that's a look at the uh, Wildsiders number two all right so there it is the final piece uh, this was a pretty awesome uh, pencils I found and uh, this felt like inking a couple of characters on it and I thought it turned out pretty well so uh, J Scott Campbell awesome artist and uh, would love to see him finish Wildsiders. Obviously, it looks like it took a lot of work, but um, I guess it's possible he finishes it in the future, but we'll see. So, till then, that's everything, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. All right, see ya.